wheelchair is a bit of a problem. Also being on crutches is a bit of a problem. Very, very much a liability to an employer. So rather than going out and finding myself a job, I thought, well, I've got the qualifications, let's go self-employed. I had to go and find clients or customers. Uh, had to get it all organised through HMRC, um, gov.co.uk, you name it, and you've really got to go the whole hog. Um, but when you actually sign on that dotted line, wow, what a relief. <laughs> Good points. You can work when you want to work. Um, you don't have to clock in, which is nice. You don't have to travel anywhere if you don't want to. Get your clients to come to you. Um, what else is good about it? You well, you can work when you want to work. Basically, if you don't want to, you don't work. But the unfortunate part is, if you aren't out there working, you aren't getting the money. And hence, if you haven't got the money, you can't go on holiday. Um, that is the biggest downfall of being self-employed is the ability to generate enough income to sustain your lifestyle you've really got to go out there and push your name and you know get as many clients as you possibly can I'm ruthless <laughs> I am ruthless if anybody is breathing you are a potential client as far as I'm concerned and I will come and chat to you and I will chat you up or whatever you know hand out my business cards um, you know I will just engage in conversation with you so if I came and you you were sat on a seat and I come and sit next to you I'd soon strike up a conversation with you being employed you have your national insurance paid your tax paid it all comes out of your wages obviously but as a self-employed person, as long as you earn under a certain amount, you aren't taxed on it. So, there, you know, there, there's good points for employment and there's good points for being self-employed. My reason for self-employment was the fact that I would be a liability to an employer. And the majority of officers are upstairs or if they have a lift, if a fire alarm goes off, the lift goes out of action. So if I'm in a wheelchair, how do I get down the stairs? As long as you've got a burn with your idea, go for it. You know, it's your passion. You will make a success of it. First and foremost, get yourself a bookkeeper. Secondly, make sure that you are registered with HMRC because they will catch up with you eventually and you will get stung with a massive tax bill. Um, that really, those are the two basic points, you know, get a bookkeeper and register with HMRC.